This is a story about how five friends came together for an epic road trip to celebrate Dave's stag do. Of course, it was also the perfect opportunity to stretch the legs of the C63 on its first proper outing. Two cars a thousand miles from the UK through Scotland featuring five good friends. Okay, good morning. It's day one of the stag do. Um, I think we've got about 300 miles today to Inverness, so um, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. The car is ready. It's just hiding in there. It's nervous and excited. It's got a huge boot. I've absolutely stacked the boot full of stuff. Um, let me just show you that quickly. So, as you can see, so I've managed to get my bag, two, three pairs of boots there, all the car stuff. So I've got my oil, I've got power steering fluid, pump, uh, high-vis jackets, everything for an emergency. And we've still got loads of room. So that's plenty to get um, Ollie or Scott or Dave, whoever's coming in my car stuff first. We're taking two cars. We've got the C63 and um, Mikey's new CLA. So it's kind of a Mercedes road trip. So I'm gonna go meet the guys now and um, yeah, start heading on our way. Our journey started out with the aim on the first day to hit Glasgow in time for our lunch rendezvous go-karting. first activity. I know, I'm very excited. Oh, oh it's called Scott Cart, so you prefer win Scott. Yeah, it's your, your session. Oh my god, no pressure. We really tested everyone's metal with the karting and the results were conclusive. Scott is an absolute animal when you put him in a go-kart and led the session including beating all the other people in our group to finish P1 overall, with Mikey coming in a close second. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Where are we going now? Yeah. I believe we're going to Inverness. Inverness. I don't know what we're doing in Inverness. Three and a half hours. It's a long way to go. I hope something good there. Winner gets to drive that beast. <laughs> As Dave mentioned, we headed from Glasgow north towards Inverness. The reason we went to Inverness was, as we knew it was the start of the NC500 route, we wanted to experience part of the drive. Mikey was... Mikey was yeah, Mikey, you were really good at the go-karting. I was very impressed. <laughs> Dave's first drive in the 63. How are you finding it? Decent. <laughs> it's very nice. You can feel there's a lot of power. It just wants to go. Oh, he's loving it. Okay, so that is the first drive done. A total of just over 400 miles and seven, seven and a half hours, I think it was. So I averaged 24.8 MPG in the C63 and Mikey's probably like 55 or something in the CLA 220D. So we're gonna drop our stuff off now, go for some food and um, probably see you in the morning. Okay, morning of day two, it's bright and early. Um, me and Ollie beat the others out to the car park. So um, just done an oil check on the 63 and it's a little bit lower than it was when we first started. But as you can see, the car's on a bit of a slope. So um, it's probably gonna read a little bit low. So the next time I can check it is tomorrow morning when it's stone cold again. So now I'm in a dilemma as to whether to put oil in it or not. Haven't decided yet, not sure. But where are we going today? We are going to Fort William. Via Sky, potentially. Yeah, via, via the Isle of Skye. So it's another 400 odd miles. And then we're going power boating, yeah. Starting at Inverness, we did follow the NC500 route across the bottom of Scotland, and then took a slight detour at Plotton, heading to the Isle of Skye.
No, we're in the middle of we're in the middle of nowhere somewhere, but it's uh, it's quite a good shot. I'll insert some of uh, Stern Photo's pictures here at Stern Photo, um, and I think this is part of the NC500 route. So um, Dave was Dave was giving it some beans in the speed limit back there, and I think we're gonna get some drive-by shots and stuff. So you'll see those in a second. Okay, I just heard the car from the outside for the first time and it sounds absolutely sick. So we stopped for some nice tiffin and a coffee in this lovely Land Rover 110. Coffee Rescue Scotland. Well, we've been for a toilet break because some people have really small bladders. <laughs> bladder. <laughs> but look at the view. Ooh. See, it was worthwhile stopping. It was worthwhile stopping. And this trip is making me really want a bike. Look at all these amazing bikes. Is that a, a triple? Yeah. Oh. So this just flew in through the sunroof and hit Mikey's head from this animal. It's an animal. This part of the NC500 attracted all sorts of petrol heads, including multiple bikers and other convoys on a summer road trip. Oh wow. So we're at Isle of Skye golf course. Mikey's desperate for a round. Yeah. And uh, we're going from, from here to Fort William, so two and a half hours. And the roads are amazing so far. And um, Dave's excited for his activity later. Yes, Look I at am. This man. I don't know what it is. But you love I'm it when sure I get really close to you like that. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't help but pull over and take some photographs in the scenery, which led to Ollie clambering into the boot of the CLA in order to get the best shots for the Instagram. You can't argue with his results, though. <laughs> Ollie's so keen. He loves it. Is there much space in Mr. Dobbins? Can we, let's get yeah, you can put it on the back seat. And that's your new position, yeah? <laughs> Easy, look at that. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I think, tracking shot like that. Wow. The twisty roads just kept on coming as we headed to Fort William. Following the railway along the seafront, we found a small tunnel which meant windows down in the C63 and manual mode selected. Surface isn't very good, but the actual roads themselves are pretty. 
pretty tasty. And that's why there's like Ford Focus RSs just like chilling out. There's a bloke playing bagpipes. <laughs> he couldn't make we it. We are in Scotland. <laughs> got uh, Mikey and Scott and Ollie behind. Making our way into Fort William. This car's so nice with the sunroof. So bright and airy. Ooh. Which one? This that, thing down here. That, big, that, that big rib down there. <laughs> oh, sick rib. <laughs> it's like a proper rib. I think this is all that. That's wicked. Oh my god, Dave. Thanks, guys. How are you feeling, Dave? Yeah. Oh, when I was thinking, I was thinking a bit like a little. No. Freezer. Oh, this is going to be proper. Oh, oh my god, yes. <laughs> How far are we going? It's 90 Where minutes. Where are we going? 90 minutes? Mm. We're going Gee. for an absolute blast out there. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's that long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> the 350 horsepower six cylinder rib was one of the highlights. It was nice to get into a different form of transport and something that had worse fuel economy than the C63. We chased the Jacobite steam train from the water as it traveled along the coast. The train would have just crossed the Glen Finnan viaduct famously used in the Harry Potter franchise in the Chamber of Secrets with the flying Ford Anglia. <laughs> Here are the lads. First thing in the morning, that's what you want, is a GoPro in your face. Good morning. Looking very cool though, Mikey. Glasses are hiding all sin. <laughs> Does Dave know where we're going? Nope. I know where the end goal is. <coughs> As in, now I've not ruined the surprise either. Yeah. Oh, this is where we find out at this point. Do it? No, well, no. I wasn't. I was just going to say. No? We're heading off, it's about three hours away. Cool. Sorry. Which configure we going in? Cars. Whatever you want, man. I'll go in the back of this one before I'm happy that. Just need some fuel. No, you. Fuel. Yeah, fuel. Another one? I just need fuel. Another one? <laughs> <laughs> fuel, let's roll. Did an oil check on the car this morning and it is absolutely fine. So yeah, three hours, 183 miles. And I think we'll do another whole tank of fuel today. So, exciting. Wait for that to go white. And then that means it's warm and I can floor it. Mm. Luckily, there is a shell which sells 99 in Fort William, so I'm buzzing about that. And I think today, Ollie's in the back in here and Dave is in the front to start with. The first stint, this is what our mornings look like every single morning shuffling about with cars getting all the stuff because everyone's got loads of luggage like three bags each like little girls the route south towards edinburgh from fort william is one that i've driven before and features long open roads carving through the scottish countryside this route then meets the motorway and although efficient isn't quite as much fun as the first section mike have you secretly got some like giant engine under that thing a few gears dropped there <laughs> That took an hour for me to take that. hill in front of us. It's a big hill. Are you filming us? I was, yeah. Look. Hey Dave. Where are we now? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Had a nice drive over this morning as I'm sure yeah. your fabulous viewers saw. I don't know. I, I didn't even have the camera. I don't think we've got much of that drive. No. It's a very motorway. We're walking up the big ass hill. What do they call it? Is it got the royal mile? I don't know. It's got a name like that. I've given it the name. Big ass hill. <laughs> this will be you soon, Dave. It will. It's like my nan's 
cupboard in the living room. <laughs> we couldn't leave Scotland without having a glass of single malt before our meal to celebrate Dave's last night of the trip. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no. <laughs> so Dom, what would you prefer, a C63 or this? I reckon uh, this will put more hairs on your chest than a C63. But... <laughs> <laughs> depends, how, depends how hard you press the right and pedal. <laughs> yeah, we're ready for Dave's final Woo! and last night out. Um, waiting for Ollie as usual. Yep. And we've been ironing towels. And we've been ironing, He's got ironing in the towels. Has he got back in the shower? Look at these. What's he up to? He's wearing white shirts. Dave is the only one in a black shirt because he's the, the main man. He was wearing his jeans when he came out a second ago. Yeah. Nudity isn't allowed him. Oh. <laughs> So this morning we are heading to, we're doing a stop off in the Lake District. So I've um, got Ollie behind the camera in this car and then Mikey, Scott and Dave in the CLA in front. And I think when we filled up this morning, we're like two, 700 and, 736 miles was it? So far on the trip. Um, and today alone, I've been doing 24.1 MPG. I bet I'm the only C63 owner that talks about MPG, but yeah. We're going to stop for some lunch at the lakes, and the car has earned the nickname The Sea amongst everyone, so I kind of like that nickname. So I think the nickname for the car, the name for the car is going to be The Big White Sea. No, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? Just coming out of the services. I just head on to Medway, yeah. Do you have? Yarp. Yeah. Where are they? No idea. Dom, but what is this? It's random music, it's classical FM. It's, it's, it's Jones Brands, Symphony Number no. 1 in C. In the C. In the C. In the in C. sea. That's the best version. Exactly <laughs> that. In, in C. C. Yeah. You just need to play on repeat. Exactly. <laughs> with the window open. It goes with the vehicle. I think. <laughs> what was that? Your phone. <laughs> 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 the cartwheel. I think people know it's a C from. Do now. Some <laughs> views. <laughs> Coming into the Lake District, we hit some sunny weather and the classic twisty lanes around the lakes. The last time I drove here, I was in the Diesel Golf, so quite a bit of a different experience this time around. Arguably, the roads are a bit narrow to use the power of the C63, but there are a couple of open sections where I could use manual mode, which worked brilliantly to make you feel much more engaged with the cross-plane crank V8. for a little dip. 
Let's go on the staircase. Happy stag do, Dave. Whoop, whoop. Quite the smooth entry we'll probably have. It's to. really painful. Ow. Ow. Oh, it's so much less glamorous than you think it's going to be. Ow. 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 How is Scott over there already? Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, I'm trying to do it with no arms. Is... There's a rock to stand on here, Dave. Freezing. You get used to it for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, got. It's so painful. How is Scott just walking up it? Scott's got feet of leather. Oh. He's just ran it. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, my Pain. The pain is real. There's a brick there. There's two bricks. Yeah, and that's how you uh, get out of a lake smoothly. <laughs> like a mermaid. <laughs> like a mermaid. So, as you can tell now, we're uh, back down south because the weather's crap. Although, it was pretty bad in Edinburgh this morning. That's crazy how we're in Edinburgh this morning. So, um, yeah, it's been good. I'll do a mileage summary and a, and a fuel summary at the end. I've got to work out the fuel summary. I think it's a few hundred pounds, but so far it's been good. We had some traffic back there, which was not cool, but um, nice and uh, refreshed from this. I was going to say skinny dip then. <laughs> nice and refreshed from the swim that we had um, in the lake. So, catch up with you, grab a cup of tea, and uh, we'll talk through a bit of a summary of the trip. Okay, so I'm back from the trip now, back from the place where uh, I can't really understand what anyone says. You try and understand what a Glaswegian man is saying with a face mask on, it is nearly impossible. So what I'm gonna do now is just run through a quick summary of the trip, the miles that we covered, the MPG that the car did. So um, yeah, let's go jump in. In total, we did 985 miles on that trip, which is pretty good going for four days, I think. And in that 985 miles, the car burned 206 litres of fuel, which works out at about 3.1 tanks of fuel. So that cost about £300, and that was averaging about £1.45 a litre, and that's because this car is minimum 98 RON, so you have to fill it up with 99 everywhere. For my US friends, that works out at about 45 gallons of fuel. That is an average of 21.8 miles per gallon for the whole 985 miles. Now, Mikey's CLA 220D, D being a diesel, did the whole trip on 97 pounds. Let's say that's a thousand miles for 100 quid for Mikey and a thousand miles for 300 quid for me. So it's about three times more expensive to run this car than, uh, than Mikey's CLA 220 diesel. Now, I reckon you have three times more smiles in this car, I don't know. Mike could probably disagree with that. The highlight of the trip for me was the Isle of Skye and the road leading to the Isle of Skye. I did a POV video uh, on that road because it was that good and I couldn't miss it. So I'll put the link in the, uh, in the video or in the description below. The more I drive this car, the more I absolutely fall in love with it. The one thing that I am sure of is that it's still got the rattle. I need to fix that. A lot of people really enjoy this car while you drive it, even if they're not in it. There was a scenario where we were driving um, past, I think it was to, on the way to Fort William, and there was another group of supercars in the, in the lay-by, and um, there's Ferraris, Porsches, classic Porsches and stuff in that group. And as they saw me coming, I slowed down, and they all started putting their hands up in the air and waving for me to floor it because everyone loves an M156 V8 and you can't put a price on experiences like that. We were all giggling, it was just so much fun and this car made that trip a lot of fun and I'm sure everyone that was on that trip would agree with that. 
One thing I'm going to do now though is take it to the car wash because it is an absolute bug killing machine. I'm pretty sure it kills more bugs than an HGV. So whilst I do that, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of my other videos, including the POV. There's loads more coming with this car. Congratulations to Dave and Charlotte on the engagement. Dave, I think, thoroughly enjoyed the trip and I cannot wait for the wedding. So thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.